What's up guys, Louis here. Finances are a big part of our business as realtors, but the majority of us don't seem to take it that seriously or really keep a track of anything we do. Most realtors I know have two accounts, one for savings, one for checking, the tax goes into savings, and then everything else comes out this one account, which is absolutely bonkers. I'm gonna be putting out a video all about profit first and really, but that's for another time. Today, we are gonna be talking about how to track your expenses, and I'm gonna give you a downloadable spreadsheet that you can use to track your own expenses. So, we're gonna dive right into this and check it out. I'll talk you through everything on this spreadsheet. Super easy to use, but if you haven't been here before, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, do all that stuff. That would be awesome, but for now, let's jump in. All right, guys, here we go. So, this is a template that you guys can download for um, this profit and loss tracker. Now you see it has all the months of the year and then it has a master one where you can jump in and it will show you like what your year to date expenses and everything like that are. Now, this might be an eye opener for some of you if you've never done this before. When you start putting in numbers, it can all add up and you're like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely bonkers. So let's take you through this guys. Up in the top left hand corner, we're looking at our commissions that we have made this month and you can just track this as they come so let's just start filling things in so let's say from buyers this month i've done ten thousand dollars in commissions you can see things are starting to total up here already okay uh, great from listings this year uh, this month maybe i've done eight thousand okay dual means if you're doing you know buying and selling you you can do that or not do it. You can just, I typically usually do it between buyers and sellers, whatever. Uh, I don't do rentals and um, I've maybe made, you know, 2000 in referrals, whatever. Okay, that just gives us an idea of what's come in this month. So, so far, total commissions, we've made 20 grand this month. Awesome. Okay, now you can break this down into lead sources to track who you're getting leads from. Okay, so say you have a partnership with a lender who sends you leads, you can actually track which lender is providing the leads and which ones are closing. So it's kind of cool. So moving down here, guys, you can track the GCI that's coming in per lead source. So you might, you know, buy leads from Zillow, okay? Or you might get leads from, you know, Dave the lender or whatever that looks like, okay? And you can track what you close from these different sources. Say one more of them is uh, broker leads. If you have a broker or a team lead who gives you leads, <clears throat> then we'll go from there. So say from Zillow, uh, one of these sales came from Zillow. So say just for round numbers, I made $5,000 from a Zillow lead. And then from there, from Dave the Lender, you know, I did 2000 and the other ones were just random. So uh, it just lets you keep a track of what sources are bringing you an ROI um, inside of your business. You may be doing business with a certain lender, but really if you start auditing it over a few months, it might not be giving you an ROI. There may be no closings actually coming in where you think, because you're working with them every day, that it is. So it's good to audit these things and make sure that the money you're putting things into or your time into are actually bringing an ROI. Okay, so that's what this is right here. Okay, this right here, you're not gonna to touch because this is all gonna calculate from the right hand column, but this is gonna give you your totals for expenses. Um, and then obviously, like we said, this is totaling up your commissions. Once we start putting in expenses, this is gonna give us our net income for the month, which is very different from your gross income. So let's look on the right. This is where all the magic happens in this spreadsheet. So let's look at our lead generations, <clears throat> our sources. So source one was Zillow. So let's go in and rename that again. So Zillow, um, I spent $500 on leads. Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. All right, uh, lead source two, uh, maybe it's just Dave the Lender, but we um, ran a workshop together and I took him out to lunch a couple of times. So say that added up to maybe, you know, 250 bucks. All right, no biggie. Um, and then that's all we really spent on leads. Now you can see over here, lead generation has now totaled up to 750. So we spent 750 on lead generation. Let's say we did one more. Let's say we ran Facebook ads. Oops, ads. And we spent $300 on Facebook ads, okay? Now you can see we spent that money on Facebook ads 
but it didn't come back. Nothing came back from commissions. So we might need to, you know, evaluate that. So now we've got a total of $1,050 inside of lead generation. And again, you can add as many as you want on here. Okay, payroll staff, do you have any payroll? If you're a broker or a team leader, you might have staff, you might have outsourced expenses, you know, so maybe you do videos like I do and you pay a video editor. So maybe they're a thousand a month that I pay them um, for 1099. Okay, um, personal income draw, you can track what you take every month. So say that your goal is to make 100,000 a year. So that's gonna equate to $8,000 every month so let's type that in eight thousand dollars that we're going to take for our personal income from our company because remember guys you run a business your real estate business isn't you personally it's a business and you should draw your wages and your income from that okay so you got to keep that in mind you got to separate the two because a business is something that you could sell to someone if it's not it's just you running around with your head cut off like a chicken you know you're just like trying to do everything if you have an actual business that's profitable and you can show numbers like this it's a real business it's tangible okay rent over um okay um if you have an office rent um you're going to put that in here i don't because my brokerage is cloud-based obviously uh website systems so do you pay money um, to host your website? So it may be like a Google domain or you might have an IDX feed or you may have a website somewhere that is running in the background. So let's say $150 on that. All right. Now, if you have a bunch of different websites and different click funnels and different things like that, you can add them all in here. Okay, auto expenses. Um, this starts to add up here. So your monthly vehicle payment. Um, I think the average vehicle payment in the US is like $300 a month or something like that. Monthly gas expense. Gas is pretty high right now. We're filming on October 5th, 2022. So gas is pretty high. Um, but I drive a Tesla, so I don't know what the gas prices are. So let's just add this in. Let's say we spend um, uh, 200 on gas a month. I don't know if that's fair or not. I just want to show you the gist of it. Uh, insurance, again, um, you know, maybe it's something like $400 a month. I'm just making these numbers out of thin air. You, you get this. Monthly vehicle maintenance, if you have to maintain your vehicle, um, maybe I didn't have to do anything this month, so that's great, but you would do tires, engine checks, services, stuff like that. Registration tags, I didn't have to do anything this month. Uh, monthly mileage driven, this is a good thing to track just because you can use it for taxis and stuff like that. So maybe we drove, um, you know, a thousand miles this month. Okay, food and entertainment, did we eat out? Did we take people out? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. We're gonna say no, we didn't take anyone out this month to eat. Uh, any events that you do with your team, I take my team out every month, my local team anyway, I have you know a, a team of all across the states, but the local people here where I am in Denver, I take them out every month and do things with them. So uh, culture events, do we do that? Yep, we sure do. So let's say we, we spent $300 on happier, okay? Uh, client parties, entertainment, uh, we didn't do any of that this month. Then different monthly costs, bookkeeping service, you know, your uh, CPA, your tax uh, attorney, whatever that you need, you can add in all these. I'm just gonna start scrolling through these guys. Office supplies, furniture, computers, all that stuff. Brokerage fees, now this is a big one. So you wanna put in your monthly brokerage fees and splits. Now, depending where you are, it's all different from here. You need to kind of calculate that from your um, commissions. You know, where I am, it's an 80-20 split with a 16K cap. So it's pretty quick that you get to 100%. So these are typically minimum, but I do have an $85 a month uh, fee for EXP. That's the only um, charge that you have. $85 a month, that gives you all the technology that we have. So I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, MLS fees, they're like $45 here. And then anything else you're doing, uh, self-development, stuff like that. The beauty of keeping it tracked like this, guys, is this is all tax deductible. Courses, self-development, coaching, all this stuff is tax deductible. So if you have these numbers ready to roll, get them to your accountant or you know whoever that uh, deals with your numbers, and then you can write this all off for your taxes. And then let's see, cost of doing business. I'm just gonna make this a little bit longer here so it's cleaner. Okay, open sign, open house signs. Do I have to buy any? No, I have them already, it doesn't matter. Signpost install, it typically costs me um, like 25 bucks for the people to go out and install my sign. I had two of them this month. So right here, 50. Did we do four graphs? Yeah, we had two listings. It's about 150 each. So 300 for photos. Didn't do any client gifts, didn't need business cards. Did I travel at all? Flights, hotels, all that stuff. 
rant over. We went through a lot of stuff there. Sometimes every month that you're not gonna have half of this stuff, sometimes you may have a ton of it and this is why you need to track. But now let's come up and look at the actual big picture here. Here is everything totaled up. For lead generation, I spent $1,050. Payroll and staff, I spent 9,000. Remember, 8,000 for me, I spent 1,000 outsourced to, um, what was it, video editors or something like that. I spent 150 on websites. I spent $900 on auto expenses, $300 for entertainment, 85 for brokerage fees, 45 for MLS dues, 350 for cost of doing business, different things in here. So my monthly expenses for my business were 11,880. That might come as quite a shock for you because like I said before, most realtors I know have two accounts. We have our savings and we have our checkings. Tax goes into savings and then the rest of it's just all here. So if you just think to yourself that, you know, say we had a $10,000 commission, say we put 20% away for our taxes, so 2,000 goes into the taxes and we have $8,000. Typically, realtors' brains say, I've got $8,000, this is awesome. What can I do with this $8,000 that I have? But you're not taking into account all of the expenses down here. And this is why this is so important because you have to be top of mind and manage your finances so you know you are all set and you know your business is running efficiently. And most of all, you know what you need to cut expenses, okay? All in all, um, it was $11,880 for our expenses, including payroll and everything. So our total commissions were 20,000 for the month and our total expenses were 11,880. So that leaves our business with a net profit, net income of $8,120. And that's how you do it guys. And you just do this every month, every single month. At the end of the month, I go through and do this and it just makes things really, really crystal clear, black and white for your business. The cool thing is as well, guys, is that I get cutthroat with things. If I'm spending money on lead generation and it's done nothing for me, I cut it, cut it out. So you take Zillow out, boom, $500 you just saved for your business. Uh, let's see, what else could we cut out here? You know, you're not gonna have photography next month, so you know you're gonna have a net uh, of 300 coming in. So different things like this, you can cut your expenses. Maybe 8,000, maybe 100K is like, way too much for you to live on so let's cut that down to like six thousand a month whatever that might look like you can cut and paste and, and, and copy all this stuff in and really have a look at things then you go to your year to date so every couple months you know every month or so you can look at exactly what you're spending year over year and this will all add up and that's it guys super simple but really important i can't emphasize enough how much you need to be on top of your finances because you're running a business it's not just you, you're running a business. You have to have this dialed in and it will give you peace of mind because if you don't have this dialed in, you don't know what's going on in your business. You don't know what's going on in your finances and that's what causes stress and anxiety. When you have it all dialed in and you can look at these numbers, pull them up and cite them off, your stress level goes way down and you're less anxious about your finances because you have them all figured out. All right, guys, that is it for today. We're gonna to be doing quite a bit of finance stuff. I'm gonna go over uh, the Profit First system that I use from an amazing book um, and how I implement that into my business. And we're gonna go through that in the next couple of videos here. But for now, download that spreadsheet. It's in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. Use it for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this stuff. I would love to help you out. I'm here all the time dropping videos on systems processes and time management. If you want a full course on what systems you need in your business, the link below is for that too so it's a free course you can download and get on that too all right guys if you want my free course all about what systems and processes to set up for your business success you can download that in the description below as well i will see you next time if you haven't been here before like comment subscribe i'm always dropping this kind of content i love it and i will see you on the next one